Good morning. So, um, just to start out with a note or kind of a theme about how we are all so much more similar than we are different. As I'm sitting in the back listening to the First Lady speak this morning, I am realizing that she's saying all of the things I was planning on saying. So, we'll just start out and, uh, and, and we'll, t we'll go. Um, my name is Shannon. I have been in recovery now for seven years. And, thank you. I, uh, I was elected to the state legislature five years ago. And uh, like many people in recovery or who are um, dealing with addiction, I went through a series of uh, rules that I made for myself and failures. I would set rules, I would break them. I had told my family that I was gonna stop drinking, but then I didn't. And so when I finally got to that moment in my life where I realized I had to make a change, that I was ruining my life, um, I didn't tell anyone. I, I just stopped. I just, uh, when people would ask me if I wanted a drink, I would say, no, thank you. I wouldn't give any explanation. I wouldn't say that I don't drink. I don't say that it's a problem for me. I just said, no, thank you. And that was something that I did for three years, two and a half, three years. And there was something in my life that, uh, that opened me up to talking about my addiction. And that was hearing the first lady tell her story on the news, that first interview that she was talking about. And it's like, oh, you know, she's like me or I'm like her in the fact that, you know, we were very embarrassed about um, the decisions that we had made that led us to the point in our life, tired of trying and failing at things. And it was really the catalyst for me to finally talk about uh, my addiction. And from that point forward, I wouldn't say that I got right up on stage and started talking about it that way, but I, when I would talk to people about why I wasn't drinking, I would say, because it's a problem for me, because I've been sober now for two years, three years, five years, whatever the case may be. And what I also started doing after that was putting a little note on my Facebook, on my sober anniversary, and just talking about how much better my life is now without alcohol. Um, the, the improvements that I see in myself, the uh, ability that I have to really engage with my friends and my family, enjoy my time with them, um, and putting that message out on Facebook, what I've learned is talking about my story has allowed me to impact the lives of others. Each time I've done that, at least one person has reached out to me and asked me to talk to them about their struggles with alcohol. And so I guess very similar to the message that the First Lady was talking about, we need to recognize that we're all much more similar than we are different. We need to recognize that by talking about the things that we struggle with, whether it's alcohol or addiction or whether it's mental health issues, we can impact someone else's life. We can help them realize that they're not alone in their struggles and, um, and open up that opportunity for them to think about um, what they have going on in their life, realize that there's opportunities to improve their lives and that they can be healthier and happier in the future. So I thank you guys for the opportunity to talk uh, about my story a little bit. I thank the First Lady for sharing her story and being the one um, to make me realize that, that it's okay, that it's okay that we're all human, we all make mistakes, we all have our shortcomings, but talking about them helps relieve that burden and makes it easier for you going forward, makes it um, something that you can use that struggle to help someone else in the future. Thank you. <laughs>